Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you all. Today is th- Wednesday, 13 January 2021. Today we are going to continue our exercises of the Unit 7, which we have started on Monday. So let's start. Before starting today's lecture, first I want to discuss the homework which I have given you. So, question B read, think, pick. Ring the correct two words, phrases in each line. So we have to select two options for the, each description, which suits to the, uh, to the description. Number one, she, she, they have done for us. Number two, Fred traveled by stone car, train, foot, spaceship, bicycle. So the correct option is stone car and foot. Number three, friend Send uh, Fred send messages by how they send messages stone signs text emo email sorry remote control sounds so the correct option is stone signs and sounds Fred enjoyed what they enjoyed television no the stone car computers stone throwing the cinema so the correct option is the stone card and stone throwing to uh, to throw stones now this was your uh, last homework now come to today's lecture unit 7 page 36 verb now what is verb a verb is often called an action or doing verb simply an action words or doing words are called verb because we use it to talk about what we are doing. Clear? We use it to show our action. Clear? Now, examples. Here you can see some examples of the verb. Okay? Here you can see verb and action word. Swimming, cooking, drinking, watching, running and writing. Clear? They are our actions because we are using body parts or we are using some senses, uh, so body parts in this these actions. Clear? Now come to the exercise on same page, page 36. Underline the verbs in each sentence. We have to read all the sentences and we have to underline the verbs in it. Verbs mean action words which show the action. Now, underline the verbs in each sentence. Noreen talked to the manager. So, talked. Talked is the verb. And it is the second form of verb. Clear? Louis posted the letter last week. Who posted? Louis posted. And posted is the an action word. So, we underline posted. He poured. Pour means uh, um, flow, to flow. A glass of milk. Clear? So, pour is verb here. The lady bought a new dress in the shop. So, bought is the second form of buy and it is a verb. Ali cleans her bedroom on a Saturday. So, cleans. Cleans is a verb. So, we will underline it. Dad. Wash the foot, uh, wash the football kits because they were dirty. Yeah, so washed is the verb. I cycle. Cycle means uh, here the cycle is using as a verb, and it's mean to ride on a cycle, bicycle. So I cycle. Here cycle is using as a verb to school on Thursdays and Fridays if the weather is fine. She chopped the onion. <coughs> Chop means uh, fine cutting of something, uh, some vegetables or anything. Cutting, clear? She chopped the onion and the mushrooms for dinner. So this was exercise A. Now come to exercise B. Verbs are used in different tenses. Tenses means um, uh, time, clear? So to show the time, to show the time of the uh, verb that what it happened, we showed it by the different forms of verb. Clear that in which tense 
the the that the sentence is in which sentence in which tense the present tense present tense means is used for something that is happening or happens every day here the things we do every day or which we are doing now is called present tense here so present tense which we do on daily basis or which we are doing now so what we do on the daily basis uh, uh, some girls wake up early in the morning okay so uh, she wakes early in the morning clear okay we can say that uh, we uh, she takes lunch every day clear so the daily basis uh, actions are called present tense uh, comes in the present tense i work on the farm every day i comb my hair every morning and to show the present tense we use the first form of verb and if we are talking about the singular person so we will add uh, e uh, sorry s or es with the present tense uh, for, with the first form of verb clear so by using first form of verb we show present tense clear and when we are talking about the singular person then s and es will come with the verb the past tense is used for something that has already happened which we have done clear which we have completed or done so to show the past tense we use the second form of verb clear to show the past tense we always use second form of verb with singular or plural uh, subject any clear and with any subject we use the past tense i worked on the farm yesterday i combed my hair this morning now come to the exercise finish the sentence using a verb in the past tense finish the sentences using a verb in the past tense the dog barked all night long keep this thing in your mind girls that we have to use past tense second form of verb in this blanks clear the children dashed the game clear we have two options won which is the second form of win or lost which is the second form of loss clear so my brother dashed the dinner last night here we can write ate which is the second form of eat took which is the second form of take and made clear i dashed every wear for my shoes this morning searched clear we will write the second form of search i dashed my friend to my party invited or welcomed she asked him for a favor she asked we use second form of verb i dashed the poem off by heart i learned the poem off my heart clear or off by heart she borrowed a book from the library clear so for uh, showing the past tense we use second form of verb now underline the verb in each sentence take true or false clear first we have in this exercise this exercise is divided in two two parts first we have to underline the verbs and secondly we have to put tick and cross here by seeing the picture in the at the side of this exercise clear so let's start the sun is shining in the sky so what is the verb here shining so we will underline shining and if you can see that in picture it is a cl cloudy weather we can't see the sun so this statement is cross a girl is bouncing a basketball bouncing is a verb and the statement is false because two girls are bouncing the ball two girls are skipping with a rope Sk skipping is a verb and they said that two girls are skipping but in the picture we can see uh, only one girl who is skipping the uh, skipping with a rope so this statement is also false three small children are holding hands holding is verb here and this statement is false because if you can see in the picture uh, uh, all the, uh, the three boys are raising their hands clear the boy is sitting reading a book sitting is verb and this statement is true because we can see a boy who is sitting and reading a book now come to the next page page 37 comprehension find the words in the list that mean the opposite of those in the table so we uh, these are the words opposite 
clear and they have also give us the option so we have to pick the correct one and place it on the right place now let's start first okay first its opposite is last popular popular means famous and its opposite is unpopular then is lovely and its opposite is horrible unpleasant horrible means unpleasant entrance its opposite exit entrance means where we enter somewhere and uh, and its opposite is exit question and its uh, opposite is answer true false strong weak absent present teach learn clear junior senior now vocabulary use a rhyming word to complete each sentence properly rhyming words i have uh, we have read this in the first unit that the rhyming words are those words who, uh, who whose ending sounds are same clear so we have to complete these blanks using a rhyming word we always meet at the end of the street street is the rhyming word of meet the boy didn't know how to throw or blow this is the, these are the rhyming words of no the old tree stump looked like a lump stump means a half piece which uh, half cut piece of the tree clear she bought a new gown in a shop in the town town is the uh, rhyming word of gown i love the okay you know about the gown the long maxi style uh, dresses are called gown i love the thrill of skating downhill downhill is the rhyming word of thrill now come to the description choose two words from the list to complete each sentence we have to complete these blanks uh, we have to complete the description clear by and they have also give us the options on the top of this exercise so let's start during the stone age people lived in dark damp caves clear d a m p damp caves clear then is the fling stone is a dash dash cartoon funny television cartoon clear here the spelling of dam is uh, correct spelling of dam is d a m p dam clear so correct the spellings of d a m p dam then fling stone is a funny television cartoon clear cave dwellers hunted okay cave dweller means the man who live in the cave hunted wild and large animals for food the hunter used sharp bone tools as i have told you that they use the uh, tools and weapons which are made of organic material like stones bone clear huge terrifying dinosaurs roamed the earth long ago now exercise c this is your homework you have to complete this on your books so what is the exercise write words that begin with the same letter you have to write those words who begin with f l and then you have to write uh, the words which start from d r then s m s t r w h clear so this is your homework hope you are clear about all the exercises so complete your exercises with a uh, neat handwriting clear this was uh, so goodbye everyone